Hello everyone, my name is Maxim, welcome to Medal 101. What is Medal? Medal in the context of Apple platform is, uh, is, not, is not this, it's, it's not, uh, it's not uh, music, but it's a low-level GPU API. It's similar to OpenGL, uh, but it it's a lot faster. It can deliver up to 10x more draw calls per frame than OpenGL can on uh, Apple devices. The reason Apple was able to achieve such a performance is to really take advantage of their hardware developed in-house and develop its own software that is tailored to its hardware instead of using something like OpenGL, which is a cross-platform standard and doesn't really fit with custom hardware. Uh, you, you might have encountered a metal uh, in something uh, like SpriteKit or SceneKit or Unity they all use metal under the hood because it's just so much faster than OpenGL. Why do we care in a GTLUS club about metal? There are really two reasons for this. First, you ha you get direct access to hardware. You program uh, on on bare metal with no overhead in something like uh, another framework or uh, another person's code, and you really get to push your hardware to its limits with your bare hands. It's also a great learning experience. Metal can teach you a, le a lot about uh, 3D graphics and uh, you can write your own uh, game engines like Unity, but maybe not, uh, and, and create your own games with it. Metal is also interesting to um, ML students because you can accelerate your uh, model training uh, with, um, with GPU. Uh, by using metal so metal is uh, nothing more than just a box and this box uh, has uh, this is simplifying a lot uh, but this box has uh, something called a command queue and this command queue uh, is exactly what it sounds like it holds commands and commands are instances of this command buffer object and this is what we programmers uh, get to do when we do metal we uh, create these buffers, we push them to the command queue, metal, decuse these uh, commands, does stuff to them, spit something out. This is simplifying again, but this is on a high level, this is how it works. And these command buffers, they can encode different commands, but uh, in this tutorial we're interested about this render command because we want to eventually render something on the screen. These render commands, they take uh, data, they take textures, and something to do with these data and textures. Uh, and uh, something to do is uh, uh, specifically encoded in render pipeline state, which we're gonna be looking at later. So, rendering. Rendering is uh, can be uh, modeled uh, with something called rendering pipeline state. Uh, it goes from left to right. You can split this into two parts visually. The first part deal, deals with vertices directly. So in rendering, we manipulate vertices, and this is how we get 3D objects on the screen. Because every object is consists consists of little uh, triangles, and each triangle consists of three vertices that we get to do math on, that we get to map from one state to another. In this case, this triangle is a little is rotated a little, and this is done through a vertex shader. Oops. So a vertex shader is it is just a shader. Shader is a, a program that is run directly on the GPU, and it takes advantage of GPU uh, GT, uh, GPU parallelization. So by running uh, each verti vertex through the vertex shader, you get to map or compute every vertex in parallel probably thousands of them at the same time this is why gpus are so powerful you get to pro you get a lot of processing power through par parallelization instead of undoing everything on a cpu through a, a for loop for example so once um once these vertices are processed we really need to figure out what to draw on the screen and drawing on the screen is coloring pixels so what uh what metal does for us is is it figures out figures out what uh, 
pixels to color and it tells us uh, these pixels and we tell metal uh, in return what color we want for these pixels we we'll do it through a, ver a fragment shader which is also a shader run on, G on the gpu but in this case we return uh, a color for each pixel and uh, later metal just takes this color and presents it to the screen in this tutorial we want we really want to just display a triangle to the screen this might uh, sound simple enough but it actually takes seven steps but trust me once you get familiar familiar with these seven steps it's really not that hard to go from a triangle to you know uh, rendering entire scenes or even developing your own minecraft clone because the concepts are going to be the same it's just going to be a little mo a bit more math a little bit more code but it's the same context for just a simple triangle and a minecraft game so with this said let's switch back to uh, my computer and i'll show you how to draw a triangle um, hi this is maxim again welcome back so here i am on my machine so the first thing you want to do is uh, open up Xcode, uh, give me a second, and you want to create a new project. There you go. So you want, you want to create a new project. Yeah, in this case, we want a, we want a Mac OS application uh, because we're gonna be running our metal code uh, on our Macs first. So click next. Um, you can name it whatever you want, I'm just gonna have you know, fun with metal. Because that's what we're doing, having fun with metal. Um, so make sure it's uh, you know Swift, obviously. Uh, Lifecycle uh, app kit. Uh, don't don't choose Swift UI just yet. Uh, and you can include tests if you want to. Anyway, this is gonna create a project for us. Save it. I I I, I apologize um, in front. Uh, for my uh, computer, it's it's a 2014 Mac uh, MacBook Pro. It's pretty slow, but it does its job, you know. Anyway, um, so once once the project is created, we we'll want to go uh, here, create new file, regular Swift file will do. Um, name it Metal View. Metal view. Great. So, first thing you want to do is to import Metal Kit. Yeah, it's it's a framework to work with Metal. And then we want to create uh, our view that we're gonna be rendering to. So, it's gonna be Metal View. Inheritance from MTK View. Uh, this is all gonna, we're gonna be using to render stuff on the screen. In, in this case, our our little channel. Um, so after the, uh, this is done, go to main.storyboard and here click on this view control thing, view, and change the class to our metal view. Uh, and now, when, if we run it, if, if this should run, let's see, yeah, I apologize, it's really slow. nice so we got our window and technically this is our view so nice now we need to do initial setup I already did this for us um, and now you're welcome to pause uh, and copy this code but I will encourage you to just listen a bit and then uh, go through the video again uh, because uh, we really don't have that much time to type any code Anyway, so uh, remember from the presentation that um, uh, we we really uh, need only three things uh, for for drawing a triangle. We need a pipeline state, which is a, a part of the command uh, buffer that's sent to the GPU. We need a command queue. This is actually uh, what holds all these commands, and this is where Metal gets its commands from. And the vertex buffer, uh, it's it's a buffer that's gonna hold our uh, vertex data in 
So we're going to be using this uh, coder uh, initializer because uh, we actually initializing it from the storyboard. So this is what it's going to call. Uh, uh, this is what it's going to be called. The first thing you want to do is create is to set this device to MTL create system default device. And this device object is of type, um, and, you know, MLT de MTL device, and it, it's just an abstract representation of our GPU uh, in code. Uh, just and then uh, just set some params like color pixel. Don't worry about this. It's just going to the format of the pixels. Uh, frame buffer only. Uh, set this to true. You know, Apple recommends to do this if you're not going to be, um, as they say, uh, you know, uh, uh, sampling from the texture or altering the texture in any way. Uh, so set the clear color. The clear color is gonna is is gonna be the color that's uh, that's gonna clear the screen. So every frame. Uh, it's gonna clear the color to this screen and then we're gonna be drawing on top of this color so we don't get you know uh, our triangle on top of each other every single time and this command queue is uh, created through a, de through a device and just say device dot uh, make command queue uh, we also want to be our delegate so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say MTL uh, view delegate no MTK view yeah MTK delegate MTK view delegate. Uh, you're gonna be see shortly, so you should you should get this little thing pop up, and if you say fix, it's gonna actually fulfill this delegate for you in this protocol. Um, I'm just gonna put it here. Nice. Um, so this protocol, it, uh, it, uh, the requirement is just two functions. This function is called whenever the uh, size of our window changes. Uh, we're not gonna be using this in this tutorial but we're definitely going to be using this draw um, uh, function and this function is um, called well ideally uh, every 60 times a second uh, so we can keep that steady fr frame rate of uh, uh, you know 60 frames per second but it's not guaranteed but anyway so this is what we're going to be do doing our draws uh, draw calls uh, because, and this is how the GPU communicates to us that it wants us to draw something um, anyway, so see, uh, the, it yells at us for not being implementing these functions, and these are two functions that we need to implement first. This make buffer um, function, uh, I already did this for us in, in it for the sake of time, but what it does is pretty much, you know, uh, creates uh, I first create an array of vertices. Um, remember on the slides. Uh, we use normalized device coordinates, um, and this is what tell if so. It's an, an it's an x and a y, and and they have type of load. So this x zero says that we're right in the middle of the screen, and y one tells us we're kind of in the middle and on the top. So this is going to be this vertex here, and then you know it it pretty much uh, all these are just vertices for a little tri for the triangle. It only needs three, so that's why we have one, two, and three vertices here. Unfortunately, metal doesn't really work with a swift arrays. Uh, that's why we need to create a buffer. So in order to do that, we have this function, make buffer. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to figure out the size of this array. In order to do that, we need to figure out the size of the float. And this, uh, we use a memory lay layout, and it's a nice little feature in Swift. Uh, we want to use stride instead of size, that's important. Um, and uh, we just multiply it by the, uh, the uh, whatever, the length of this array. And that's how we get the size of this array. And then we call device.makeBuffer, it's gonna create a buffer for us. Uh, we pass in the, a pointer to this, uh, to this uh, array. Uh, you, can, you can do this, or you can you know, not do this. It's gonna, do, it's gonna be the same. Uh, I believe uh, the 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 size of the array and options just leave it blank for now. We don't need them anymore. Uh, for, I, I mean, for now. So that's how we create a buffer. Um, then we need uh, something called pipeline state. So pipeline state is gonna hold, you know, everything uh, important or you know, everything that we want the GPU to do. Uh, remember from the presentation that. Uh, uh, what we want the GPU to do is encoded in in the shaders. So shaders are little programs that uh, 
uh, that you know process our vertices, pro process our pixels or fragments rather, and uh, and our pipeline state holds uh, these um, shaders. But we need shaders first, so go to here, create new file, metal file. I'm just gonna name them shaders. Pretty generic, but it does the job. Um, this is what it looks like. So shaders uh, are written in metal shading language. It's it's like a subset of uh, C plus um, plus. Yeah. So shaders I'm, I'm, I've written um, in uh, in metal are uh, in C plus plus, kind of a subset. You, yeah, it's it's a weird language, but any it's uh, it's a lot better than using. Um, uh, OpenGL. Hold on a second. Yeah, these ones. So it's a lot better than using OpenGL because you know you get you get uh, you know if you if you forget uh, like a semicolon, it will tell you that you forget a semicolon. Uh, when in uh, OpenGL, you know you have to write the shaders as a string. Uh, which you know you don't know if you make a mistake or not. So, metal shading language is definitely not a nice thing to have, uh, especially with Xcode. So anyway, as we talked about, we have this, you know, vertex shader. It's specified by a vertex, uh, this vertex name here, and a fragment shader. Uh, the vertex shader is going to return a float four. The reason we're returning a float four, it's uh, it's uh, is because we need to return, you know, um, x. Y, Z, and something called W. Uh, w is used, you know, for projection um, and metal. Uh, but since we're not doing any, you know, pro pro um, perspective and anything, we're just doing it in two D uh, this time. Uh, we ca we get to specify zero for the Z position and one for W. These are just hard coded for 2D graphics. Uh, anyway, so uh, this basic shader, that's what we're calling it, is going to accept um, an array of vertices. This, an array of, uh, this array points to all the vertices, and uh, this little attribute, these are called attributes, and uh, just, you know, double brackets. Uh, this tells us that we, uh, the, vert the vertices are going to be found in the first buffer that we just created here this buff we, we haven't specified that it's going to be a buffer a first buffer but we will soon uh, this just tells us that the vertices are in buffer zero don't worry about this constant device device is something uh, you know uh, that's uh, you know you share between your cpu and gpu constant is just you, you don't want to alter this and it's actually an array of floats uh, floats of two because uh, you know here we have two uh, floats per, per vertex, so that's why it's a float two. You also, this is what this is where the GPU comes in. Uh, the GPU passes in the vertex ID, and you can um, you know index into the array with this vert vertex ID. Uh, and you know, considering that this function is going to be run on the GPU thousands of times. It's a nice thing to have a vertex ID so we can process, you know, one vertex per, per one uh, shader call. So anyway, uh, we want to return this flow to along with 0 for Z and 1 for W. It's going to be a flow 4. Um, so once we're done processing, you know, you can, you can definitely return something else, but we're just going to return uh, uh, whatever we get, we, pa we are passed in. Uh, in order to just see something on the screen and later we can you know alter these uh, vertices we can s rotate them so the triangle rotates on the screen the fragment shader we're just going to return uh, a red color uh, red color is uh, just one zero zero one in RGBA and uh, this is this is really simple but these tend to be more complicated usually than the vertex shaders but for now, this will suffice. We just gonna we just want a red triangle on the screen. Anyway, so now we have our shaders. We want to create um, the pipeline state. 
This is also uh, uh, done um, uh, through a function. Uh, this make pipeline state returns a render pipeline state. Uh, the first thing you want to do is to create a library. The library is something that holds these shaders. And we just want a default library. So what, the, what this will do, we'll go into your bundle, search for .metal files, uh, compile these files, and make a default library out of it. Uh, and this library will have, you know, we will already have all these uh, uh, shaders in it. All we need to do is to get this, the, the shader from the library. And we do it uh, through a function name. So you see, you see this basic fragment matches with this basic fragment and basic sh vertex matches with the basic vertex. So now we get our shaders here. And we need to, we need to create a pipeline descriptor. Uh, this good dis uh, the device is gonna use this descriptor to create a pipeline state. Uh, in this descriptor, we pass our vertex shader and ver uh, fragment shader. Uh, we specify color attachment, not, not really important for now. And we ask the device to create a pipeline state for us, which it, which it will hopefully do. And honestly, the last thing for us to do is to uh, tell the GPU to draw something on the screen. Uh, this is done through this draw, uh, draw method, uh, as we talked about. Um, there's something called a render pass descriptor, which is uh, actually a property of, of the view itself. And render pass descriptor is, you know, an object that configures which text is being rendered to or texture, I mean, uh, and what clear color and blah, blah, blah. Uh, we could create our own pass descriptor, but since we're using, you know, this MTK view, it already has a texture, it already has this clear color. So there is no, there is not really a reason for us to use anything that it's uh, this use uh, render path descriptor. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, we create a command buffer. Remember, uh, we encode all our commands in this command buffer. We create an encoder uh, to encode these commands, and in this case, it's a render encoder because we want to render something to the screen. We set our pipeline state, uh, which we create here. Uh, to this render, uh, to this command buffer, so the uh, so the GPU knows what um, what shaders to use and uh, any other information. We set a vertex buffer, uh, the you know data for our vertices that we create here uh, with an off offset zero index. Never mind. So offset do it's usually zero because you want to start the data from from where it starts, but this index is important. And the, uh, as you you know. It specifies um, what buffer and the index buffer that we actually use here. So you know this zero is the same as z this this zero, and this is how you uh, you know the metal metal passes on the vertices that you need to your shaders. And then again, and then we make a draw call. In this case, we want to draw the primitives. Uh, the uh, it's a type triangle. There are different triangle, and there are uh, you know lines, triangles, but and basically it's all triangles pretty much all always um, and we want to draw three vertices we tell the encoder to stop encoding we tell the command buffer to present this drawable which holds our texture and once we call the commit uh, this is sent to the command queue uh, and hopefully it will be picked up by the GPU be processed and we're gonna be something on this, and we're gonna see something on the screen. So let's run this. We will compile all our shaders, all our data. Oh hey, nice little triangle. So uh, you can notice that this triangle is red because we specified the color red here. This this triangle um, is from you know this uh, left. Uh, bottom corner to the middle to the right bottom corner and this is what these values mean uh, remember normalized device screen coordinates so it doesn't matter what uh, what um, our window is it will always treat this as a uh, uh, negative one negative one it will always treat this as um, one negative one it will always treat this as zero one so no matter what uh, size the window we have uh, normalized device screen coordinates 
Um, so this is it. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope uh, you're gonna pursue metal because it's really cool. You get to program on on the hardware, and you get to design your own games from scratch. Thank you.